Hi everyone and welcome to the 2020 Australian Graduate of the Year Awards. I'm Viv O'Connell and it is my great pleasure to be your host today to celebrate the work of outstanding designers from tertiary institutions across Australia. In this, the Design Institute of Australia's flagship program for emerging designers. To begin, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we're gathered today to bring you these announcements, the Ngunnawal people, and I pay respect to Elders past, present and emerging. And now to officially kick off the announcements, I'd like to hand over to the Design Institute of Australia's National President, Gavin Campbell. Hello everyone and welcome. Gotcha winners have the opportunity to gain mentorships win prizes, meet potential employers, and most importantly, acknowledgement and engagement from the design community. As you know, we were planning on having an event in every state, in every Starcraft showroom across the country. However, as we are all learning to adjust to the new normal, let us enjoy this year celebrating online as one single event. With thanks to the ongoing support from Starcraft, let's hope that we can celebrate in the showrooms next year. All nominated students will receive a nominating certificate in the mail. State and category winners will receive a certificate and a trophy in the post. Trophies were produced thanks to the Barrett Group from Queensland. The judges had high expectations and were really looking to be impressed by this year's gotcha candidates. We were wanting to get excited and experience an enthusiasm and passion that only comes from a person that immerses themselves into design with a full commitment to design understanding, design resolution, design aesthetic, and importantly, design originality. We hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. Thanks, Gavin. And we're coming to you today with the National Graduate of the Year announcements from StyleCraft's showroom in the National Capital. And now, a few words from StyleCraft. Thanks, Viv. Hi everyone, I'm Tony Russell, Brand Director for Stylecraft, coming to you from our Melbourne showroom. We're proud to be the exclusive sponsor for this year's DIA Graduate of the Year Awards. It's an awards program that we hold dear to our hearts as it recognises emerging talent within the design industry. Since Stylecraft was established in 1953, we have always been a proud supporter of Australian design and manufacturing. Tom Skeen, who was a previous winner of Gotcha, is somebody whose design journey we have watched closely, and we now represent him throughout our showrooms in Australia and Singapore. Good luck to all the finalists and the winners, and now back to Tom and Viv in our Canberra showroom. For those of you who are new to the Australian Graduate of the Year Awards, a very warm welcome to you all as we recognise exceptional designers in the early stages of their career. This year, 148 nominations were received from 21 tertiary institutions across the country. The 25 State and Territory Graduates of the Year are today's nominees for the national awards in their design fields. Together, they represent Australia's next generation of design visionaries. In addition to announcing the Graduates of the Year across eight design disciplines today, we also have the five branch winners to announce, and of course, the highest honour bestowed to a graduate by the Design Institute of Australia, the Madeleine Lester Award. I'd like to acknowledge the exceptional efforts of the 73 jury members who've served on panels across the state and national categories, assessing each of the entrants against the following criteria. Concept, creativity, space, function, materials and technology, and sustainability, all of which were equally weighted. So, now that the scene is set, let's get underway with the first category, the Fashion Design Graduate of the Year. In this category, the judges were assessing wearable applications, looking for designs that included a focus on functional and aesthetic aspects, and that paid particular attention to the relationship of the apparel to the human form. Sustainable design practices were a key focus in the jury's deliberations. So let's take a look at the nominees for the Australian Fashion Design Graduate of the Year. They are 
Ellen Watson, TAFE New South Wales Ultimo. Joe Ash Teo, Queensland University of Technology. Regina Anzella, LCI Melbourne. And India Stewart from Curtin University. And the winner of the 2020 Australian Fashion Design Graduate of the Year is Regina Anzella from LCI Melbourne. Regina presented solid ideas relating to how we wear, customise and personalise our clothing through the process of research and expressing her ideas in the finished form. The jury was impressed by her strong folio presentation and her explanation of details regarding developing and making work, especially around plastic and sustainability. Regina had a clear sense of her aesthetic and responsibility towards the industry, championing well-designed pieces from her collection around longevity rather than fast fashion. Congratulations, Regina. On behalf of LCI Melbourne, we are so happy you are the Australian Fashion Design Graduate of the Year. No! <laughs> really? You so, are the Australian Fashion Design Graduate of the Year. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. Oh my God. Oh, I don't know what to say. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you so That's much. It. We are so, so, you so deserve it. You've put years of work into your degree. You came across from Indonesia. You are someone who we would hold in such high esteem because you've really embraced the Gotcha Awards. So from the bottom of our heart, we say thank you. to furniture design, defined as movable object applications. The judges were looking for designs that considered human usage and behaviour, product appeal, aesthetics and sustainable design practices. And the winner of the Australian Furniture Design Graduate of the Year Award is Louis McGowan from RMIT University. The judges were impressed with the focus and engaged work ethic Louis brings to his design practice. His projects demonstrated an understanding of sustainable materials and processes within systems of manufacture, use and reuse. His design methodology clearly articulated an issue or problem within a social or work context and his design solutions were elegant, resourceful and practical. The judges believe that Louis' designs have the potential for further development and commercialisation. Congratulations, Louis. You've actually been awarded the 2000 Vic Taz Furniture Design Graduate of the Year. Oh, Vic <laughs> How do you that's feel about incredible. that? Yeah, that's um, oh, what, what a funny time to be <laughs> Totally. Yeah, that it was pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> so, so because of that, you're actually put forward to the national award. Yeah. Okay. So you went forward to the national awards. Yeah. And I'm delighted, I'm delighted to inform you actually won that as well. Won's the national... National award, yes, for your category. Okay. Was that a bit of a shock? <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I could go out to a bar right now. Yeah. <laughs> You're ashamed. <laughs> I, thank you so much. It's such an incredible, um, incredible experience. Yeah, it's actually quite amazing to actually to win the, the national one as well. So congratulations, Louis. Congratulations. It's very exciting. Thank you so much. I'm speechless on that. <laughs> yeah, this is incredible. And now to the industrial product design category, which includes object, light fixtures or packaging applications. In this category, the judges were looking for designs focused on ergonomic, functional and aesthetic aspects, human usage and behaviour, and of course, sustainable design practices. There are three nominees in this category, and they are Vincent Sang, University of Technology, Sydney. Christopher Schultz, University of South Australia. 
and Nicole Imlitsky from RMIT University. And the winner of the Australian Industrial Product Design Graduate of the Year Award is Nicole Gemlitsky from RMIT University. With well-resolved research and practical design solutions that not only fill a void in the market, but also consider well-being at the centre of their approach, the jury felt that Nicole will make an incredibly significant impact and contribution to the design profession. In one of the project outcomes presented, not only was the application an elegant solution in its direct application, it also has the potential to impact and improve critical care management and treatment, delivering a caring and effective system for both healthcare professionals and their patients. Congratulations, Nicole. You are actually the winner of the Victorian and Taz um, Industrial Design Graduate of the Year. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's amazing. I can't believe it. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Well, it's a huge honour, which is, which is really, really wonderful. Well, there's more. You are now the Australian Graduate of the Year Award for Industrial and Product Design. Oh my God, really? So not just the <laughs> cluster of amazing universities that are in the southern states, but actually wow. all of them. Wow, thank you. I can't <laughs> believe it. Oh my God. I'm like in shock. <laughs> I can't believe I won in Australia. That's crazy. <laughs>
Ben Burrows, Queensland University of Technology. Ashley Colliver, University of South Australia. Jessica Love, Swinburne University of Technology. And Kate Becker from Curtin University. And the winner of the Australian Interior Design Graduate of the Year Award is Ben Burrows from Queensland University of Technology. Ben's outstanding submission demonstrated a mature grasp on the briefs that were set, followed through with meticulous research and thought processes, creative resolutions and impressive presentation skills. The judges were impressed by his understanding of not only spatial awareness, but also practical solutions and practical design, which is often lacking in the early years of a person's design journey, and usually honed after many years of experience. Congratulations, Ben. We're here to tell you that you are the DIA Queensland Interior Design Graduate of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Well done. Um, as you guys know, it was a long four years and a lot of work went into really um, just doing my best throughout that degree and obviously it's changed my life dramatically. So this is just the, the ch like long away to cherry on the, on the cake. So um, ben, 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 it could be even more of a dramatic change actually because we also um, wanted to tell you that you've won the uh, DIA Australian Interior Design Graduate of the Year. <laughs> Congratulations, Debbie. Thank, Thank you so much. I really, really, I need Steve's to say, I to say that's, that's incredible news. Um, I think I have these four people to thank. Um, they really guided me through the last year of my degree and I was working a lot through my last year, but um, yeah, they're amazing. Um, so thank you guys so much. I really am on and appreciate it. to jewellery design, where the judges were looking for designs that paid particular attention to ergonomic, functional and aesthetic aspects, and craftsmanship, as well as sustainable design practices. The nominees for the Australian Jewellery Design Graduate of the Year are Jacqueline Nguyen, Melbourne Polytechnic, and Hao Shi Harris Wang, UNSW Australia and the winner of the Australian Jewellery Design Graduate of the Year Award is Haoshi Harris Wang from UNSW Australia. Haoshi is a skilled artisan drawing on personal experience to express unique cross-cultural observations. The jury was impressed by the execution of the jewellery pieces, which demonstrated a high level of technical skill as well as a deep understanding of materials and technology providing a unique examination of the relationship between their history and our society. Congratulations, Hao Shi. I'm absolutely delighted to inform you that you've been selected um, by the New South Wales jury as the recipient for the New South Wales ACT Jury Design Graduate of the Year Award. So oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank Yay. you. Yeah, we're all oh. so very happy for you and so proud and, and it's so so well deserved your work is beautiful and, and yeah we're also so um so happy that that it's it's you that's been selected for the award so congratulations thank you so much i'm flat actually yes oh my god thank you so much for telling me oh, wow it's been so long it's been so long i almost like forgot like this award actually but eventually i made it thank you guys thank you so much well, well that, that's not all actually, because as the yeah. New South Wales win, it also means that you're eligible for the Australian Jury Design Graduate of the Year Award as well. Yeah. And um, I'm even more delighted to inform you that you've been selected as a recipient of the 2020 Australian Jury Design Graduate of the Year Award. So you've taken up both awards. Congratulations. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, thank and, um, you so much. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh wow, I, I didn't imagine that happening. Thank you so much. I don't know what and of course we've got Mel here, who was your wonderful mentor for the project. Oh. Thank, thank you, Mel, thank, thank you. you. I, I couldn't have made it. Yeah, I could have made it without you guys. And Mel. Well done. Mel. Thank you so much.
next announcement is for textile design, which includes fabric applications for use in furniture, soft furnishings, clothing, vehicles, finishes, plastics or other products. In addition to sustainable design practices, the jurors were looking for designs that considered aesthetic and functional aspects, materials, weights and textures. The three nominees are Michaela Beattie, TAFE New South Wales, Ultimo. Iris Hall, Queensland University of Technology. And Caroline Pattle, RMIT University. And the winner of the Australian Textile Design Graduate of the Year Award is Caroline Pattle, RMIT University. The jury was struck by Caroline's clear direction, dedication to process, and her drive to explore and perform, building knowledge through experimentation and research, plus happy accidents at times. Working with materials that blur boundaries, good and nasty, natural and artificial, she demonstrated a modern and necessary approach to sustainability. The jury loved the multi-dimensional qualities of the surfaces and the styling and presentation of the boards. Congratulations, Caroline. This is a little bit of a guise, but I've got you here to let you know that on behalf of the jury and the DIA that you were named the Victorian Tasmanian Textile Design Graduate of the Year. Oh, really? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, amazing. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it's a bit of a surprise. <laughs> and the, su the surprise continues. As the Victorian Tasmanian winner, you were therefore nominated for the Australian Textile Design Graduate of the Year Award and you've been selected as the Australian Textile Design Graduate of Year winner for 2020. Wow. So congratulations. That's amazing. Yeah. That's incredible. Awesome. Yeah. Um, if possible, I would love to um, thank my teachers at RMIT. Um, I won't name them all because there were quite a few, um, yeah. but they were um, really essential to my growth as a designer in terms of offering support and constructive criticism. It was always helpful. Great. Yeah. And now to visual communications design, including 2D text, symbol or picture-based applications. So what were the judges looking for? They were after sustainable design practices, designs that had particular emphasis on clarity of communication, the matching of information styles to audience requirements, and the application of evolving technologies in visual communication. And there are five nominees for the Australian Visual Communications Design Graduate of the Year Award. They are Jade Chan, TAFE New South Wales Design Centre, Enmore. Rachel Andrews, Griffith University. Matilda Bristow, University of South Australia. James Meadowcroft from Monash University. And Jazz Baker from Curtin University. And the winner of the Australian Visual Communications Design Graduate of the Year is Jazz Baker from Curtin University. The jurors consider that Jazz has an exceptional life in design ahead of her, displaying a thoughtfulness and level of research behind it that is rare, even in highly experienced designers. Her love of design is evident in the quality of her work, all of which has a deep sense of referencing the old world and mythology, but in a contemporary, playful and enigmatic way. Her execution is exceptionally well considered, refined and balanced, and there is an element of rewarding the curious in her work that is refreshing. Congratulations, Jazz. And not only are you the WA winner, but Lee will probably... You are also the national winner. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, that's fantastic to hear. <laughs> when we teach, I think that's what we look for, like a student that has not just talent but dedication, willing to learn, hard work, passion, like all of it, you know. So we're really glad that you, you actually got the award this year. It's, it's nice to well see deserved. you recognised for, for all your efforts. And, uh, oh, I think it's obvious that I'm very thankful for my teachers at Curtin. I mean, the whole time I'm just so aware that you guys give so much feedback and so much, so much work into me. Like, I feel like I always say everything that I gave you guys always gave double back to me, which is something I'm so appreciative. 
And I guess along that side as well, um, my friends and family have always been so supportive throughout my entire degree. Uh, which is not, it's the same thing, like I, I wouldn't be where I am without this community of designers that I have around me that have been helping me, which I'm just so humbled and grateful for. <laughs> <laughs> but, Congratulations to all the winners so far. The next announcements are for the State and Territory Branch Design Graduates of the Year. All successful state-based winners are considered for these awards. So without any further ado, the winners are... For New South Wales and the ACT, honourable mentions go to Jade Chan and Michaela Beatty. And the Design Graduate of the Year is awarded to Vincent Sang, University of Technology, Sydney. For Queensland, an honourable mention goes to Rachel Andrews, Griffith University. And the Design Graduate of the Year for Queensland is awarded to Ben Burrows, Queensland, University of Technology. For South Australia and the Northern Territory, the Design Graduate of the Year is Ashley Colliver. The West Australian Convener's Jury have given an honourable mention to Jazz Baker. And the WA Design Graduate of the Year is Kate Becker. The Victorian Tasmanian Convener's Jury has given an honourable mention to Jessica Love. And the Victoria Tasmania Design Graduate of the Year is Nicole Gamblitsky. Congratulations to all the state and territory branch winners. And now the final announcement, the Madeleine Lester Award. All of the state and territory branch winners we've just announced are considered for this award. Madeleine Lester made an exceptional contribution to the design profession, academia and design practice in Australia and internationally. She contributed selflessly and strategically to the global design profession and advised, supported and mentored many. Her memory lives on in the naming of the highest honour awarded in the Gotcha program a program she loved and for which she was such an outstanding advocate. And I'm joined now by former Graduate of the Year recipient Tom Skeen, who will be announcing this year's winner. Tom, thank you so much for joining us in the Starcraft studio Thanks today. Thanks for having me. Cheers. And I can see some of your work behind us and around the showroom. Yeah, I've, I've worked with Starcraft for a number of years now. They're an amazing supporter of Australian design and manufacturing. And when I was coming up through, you know, after graduating, um, they were definitely the company that I really wanted to work for. Fantastic. Now, I mentioned that you are a former Gotcha Award winner. Okay. Can I ask what it meant to you to receive that award? Look, it was an amazing experience. Uh, initially, when we first were shortlisted and we're entering into the competition, the DIA and the Gotcha program were really supportive and um, understood, I think, what a student's going through and helped connect them with the industry and the path that they want to move into. It's a pretty tough time at the moment with COVID-19, uh, particularly for graduates who are about to embark on a career in design. Do you have a message for them? Look, I think ac across the board, looking at Australian design, you know, we've got some amazing talent here. And for those you know, students that are just coming out into the industry, uh, just be confident in yourselves, be creative, push your work out there and just keep connecting with people in the industry. Well, it's a good way to do it through these awards, I guess, a good starting point. And what better way than to announce the final award of today, the Madeleine Lester Award. Over to you. Thank you. So the winner today of the Madeleine Lester Award goes to Nicole Gamlitsky, Bachelor of Industrial Design, Honours at RMIT University. Congrats. Congratulations, Nicole, your third award announcement today. And we do have another acceptance video from Nicole. No and, way. <laughs> so congratulations, very well deserved. Wow, thank you so much. Like, I can't believe it. I'm actually in shock. 
Wow, thank you. I guess all my hard work kind of, it worked. <laughs> yeah, paid wow. off. Thank you. Whoa, this is crazy. Oh, well, we're so proud of you, Nicole. You've done. Thank you. you know, you're always such a pleasure to have around campus last year, or well, over the last four years. It was always lovely, and um, it was always kind of a bit of a thing of like, I've got Nicole in my class. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, so, I have Juliet as my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it was always so wonderful, and so rare. We're just thrilled that um, your work has paid off, and you've been acknowledged at such a high level. It's just so wonderful. Yeah. Thank you That's so great. much. I can't believe it. I'm I'm like in shock. <laughs>